Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. Okay, then let me ask you this. If you have this passion and the more you know Jesus, the more you suddenly want to go to Iraq and Pakistan and love people, why is it that many Christians, let's call it, let's say in the West, in America, and you're already starting to smile. I can tell you yeah. know what's coming. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to formulate my answer. I'm hoping I don't offend anybody. <laughs> well, uh, I think there's some answers that might be a little offensive, but sure. it's a challenge. And, and I, my question is, they love Jesus. They're posting all the time. They go to, they're go. they mm-hmm. spending a lot of time in church, in worship mm-hmm. sessions. They play oceans on loop. Sure. Okay, so, yeah. um, but they don't necessarily want to go to their next door neighbor and share the gospel, let alone Iraq. Yeah. What, what's the difference? Yeah. What's happening there? Um, a couple things come to mind that uh, would be the difference. And by no means would I ever question someone's love for Jesus or yeah, love don't... for his word or anything like that. But um, I would have to say two things come to mind. And, and there are two things that every one of us struggle with in some way or another. Uh, one is ignorance. Hmm. Many, many Christians, you probably study a lot of statistics and I like a lot numbers, of research. Yeah. I'm a total geek. A lot of polls. <laughs> um, but uh, Barna Research uh, did a survey a few months ago um, in American churches and, and they questioned American Christians, church-going Christians, n- not, not people who call themselves Christians but don't go to church and, and show not up committed. At Easter We're talking about church-going Christians and over 50% of church-going Christians in America have never heard of the Great Commission. So, okay, so should we pause right there and say what is the Great Commission since 51% don't know? The yeah. 49 are like, yeah, the Great actually, Commission. Actually, actually it's more than 50. I don't remember the exact statistics. It was statistics. 51. 51. Yeah. Right. So, so barely over 50. More than half Correct. do not know what the Great Commission the is. The others the, on the pie chart go, I'm not sure, or maybe mm-hmm. it's this, and only right. like 6% knew. Clearly, the Great Commission is this. And, and, and the ones who knew the Great Commission, did not know what Scripture was related to the Great Commission. Okay, so which one is that? So Matthew chapter 28 Mm -hmm. and Mark 16. Okay. Jesus, both of those are the commission that Jesus gave to his disciples, his followers. We're his followers, so that commission is for us. It's not not a suggestion. It wasn't like, oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. But it was like the most important (laughs) thing that he said to his disciples. Pinnacle, the build-up, the paramount thing he wanted to communicate before he left. It was the primary purpose for the existence of the church of Jesus Christ in the world <laughs> so was, was to fulfill that mission in chapter in Matthew chapter 28 and Mark chapter 16. So when more than half the church going population according to Barner research that was March 18 uh, right. 2018 by the way that came uh, out 51% of I said a few goes. months ago well that, that was a few ago. ish <laughs> <laughs> so, but, so but what yeah, would, they don't you, know that. tell me the statistic though on the uh, millennial that, that generate the generation of the millennials that are church going Christians in America, how many of them know what the Great Commission is? I think it was like less it, than it, 80%. Yes, yes. Uh, it was lower because yeah. boomers are not sharing the information. Right. Therefore, right. that blissful ignorance. However, I like So it. back to your back to the answer to your question. Okay. And then I'll ignorance. and then I'll bring back to that ignorance. millennials. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to say, because millennials get a bad rap, I have to point out that on a similar study just after that research, millennials were found to have such a similar value system mm-hmm. as the missionary generation, 1860, mm-hmm. right, 1882. Right. It's as if um, these generations and the values of them kind of came back full force in the millennial generation. They have a passion for social justice mm-hmm. causes. You can say evangelistic oh, totally. efforts. Yeah. So they were shared, though they did not know, 20% only knew what the Great Commission mm-hmm. was. They were sharing their faith mm-hmm. more than boomers mm-hmm. um, and Gen Xers combined. Yeah. I'll say something about millennials too. Uh, I would, hopefully this doesn't offend anyone, but I would rather be around millennials in mission today than uh, my generation. Why is that? Uh, because of what you just said. Okay. Because, because they want to do something that's bigger than themselves. And, and it's our generation that I feel like when we, because the statistics we're talking about, the data we're talking about comes from research on American Christians. So I'm not just bashing America because sure. America is the greatest missionary sending country in the world. That is true. Has been and w- will continue to be, especially if we have anything to say about it, right? That's right. So, Missions Pulse. So um, uh, 
I love being around the millennial generation because the moment they get an, a, a, a spark, a, a, an ignition of the passion of Jesus to reach the world, they're like, I'm in. Yeah. I, I want to give my life for this. I have, I have two daughters, one's 26, one's 28, and, and they grew up uh, on the mission field. And especially my 28-year-old, she, she's like begging me. I want to be part of it. I want to be there. I want to do this. I want to do that. There's, there's, there's a passion for it. And, and they don't act like they know everything. They want to learn. They want to, they, they want to be part of something that's bigger than themselves. And they want to be part of a team. Like my generation, yeah. it seems like a lot, of, a lot of the missionaries in our generation, I won't throw you in our generation. I'll put it in my generation. <laughs> I'm a it's Gen like Xer. It's, it's like they're... Um, they're all isolated and by themselves. It's like the Lone, Lone Ranger, the John Lone Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. And, and we're all about team. Yeah. And when we bring that team concept to the millennials, like I was just at ORU, or Roberts University, uh, and, and there, is a, there is a swell of a, a mission passion that is growing in that place. And there's young people that are calling us and saying, I want to be a missionary. What do I got to do? Yeah, awesome. And so, so we're talking about millennials. I love millennials, and that statistic of the church-going millennials in America being 80-plus percent that don't know what the Great Commission is, I want to change that statistic. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.